Here we are going to see how to solve this quadratic equation. And remember, the easiest way to solve a quadratic equation is by factoring. And to do so, we have to make sure that one side is equal to zero. It is, so that's good. Is this factorable? It is, actually. Let me show you. Let's do the tic-tac-toe method. And if you need help with this, I have more examples. You can check the video in the description for them. All right, so to get 2x squared, we just need 2x times x. That's the only combination. And to get negative 9, well, we can use 1 times negative 9 or negative 1 times 9, or maybe even 3 times negative 3, right? Which one is correct? I will tell you, we need 3 and 3 here, but we need a positive 3x here. And this is going to be multiplied with that. So I need a negative here. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. And we see that 2x times 3, that's 6x, and then negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Together, we do get 3x. So that's the correct combination. And the fact thing is, we read it across. We have 2x minus 3 times x plus 3. And this is still equal to 0. And now we just have to put the first factor equal to 0. 2x minus 3 equal to 0. And the other one also make it equal to 0. Solve this, put the three to, negative 3 to the other side. So 2x equals positive 3, divide 2 on both sides, x equals 3 over 2. And then put this to the other side, we get x equals negative 3. And with that, we are done. However, some people might not like to factor because they don't like to guess and check. So let me just use the quadratic formula for you guys as well right here. 2x squared plus 3x minus 9 equals 0. The quadratic equation in the standard form, one side equal to 0. Then we can proceed. a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 2. b is the coefficient of x, which is 3. And c is the constant term, which is negative 9. And we will have to remember our quadratic formula, right? x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And by the way, I will also mention, here I wouldn't try to use the completing square method to solve this because not only we have a coefficient besides 1, right? we have a 2 in front of the x squared, but also this is odd. If you divide everything by 2, then we still end up with fractions. So completing square will get you fractions. So mm, just a quadratic formula for this then. All right, continue. Throwing numbers. So we have negative b is 3 plus minus square root b is 3 so we have 3 square that minus 4 times a times c a is 2 and then c is negative 9 and all divided by 2 times a which is 2 times 2 okay so this is negative 3 plus or minus okay 3 square let's see this is 9 and then 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 9 is 72 but negative times negative is plus, and altogether is 81 inside. So we have to have the 81 here, and then the square root. And 2 times 2 is 4. Can we simplify this? Yes. Square root of 81 is 9. So this right here means we have to do negative 3 plus or minus 9 over 4. So this means we have two answers. x equals negative 3 plus 9 over 4 or the other one is x equals negative 3 minus 9 over 4 positive and a negative version and of course we have to work them out negative 3 plus 9 is 6 6 divided by 4 we get 2 we get 3 over 2 <laughs> 6 over 3, 6 over 4 is 3 over 2 and the other one negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. So of course, we have the same answer, this and that, right? So let me know which one you guys like more. That's it.